Have you ever wondered how our cells know how to build the proteins that keep us alive? This intricate process is called protein synthesis, or translation, and it's one of the most fascinating and vital functions within every living organism. Translation is divided into three main phases, initiation, elongation, and termination. Each of these stages involves a series of precise and coordinated steps, facilitated by various molecules and enzymes. Let's start with the initiation phase. Initiation is the beginning phase where the components necessary for protein synthesis come together. This phase is slightly different between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, so we will look at both. In prokaryotes, the process of initiation is a complex and highly regulated sequence of events that begins when the small ribosomal subunit binds to the messenger RNA. This critical binding occurs at a specific nucleotide sequence known as the shine delgarno sequence, which is strategically located just upstream of the start codon, typically a UG. A codon is a sequence of three bases on the mRNA that specifies one amino acid. The start codon AUG is of paramount importance as it codes for the amino acid methionine, marking the beginning of the protein synthesis process. The accurate binding of the small ribosomal subunit to the shine delgarno sequence ensures that the ribosome is correctly positioned to start translating the mRNA into a polypeptide chain from the appropriate start point. This precise alignment is essential for the fidelity of protein synthesis, as any deviation could result in the production of dysfunctional proteins. The initiation process is further facilitated by a group of proteins known as initiation factors. These initiation factors play a crucial role in the assembly of the ribosome and the commencement of translation by aiding in the proper association of the ribosomal subunit with the mRNA. They ensure that the initiation complex is correctly formed and stabilized, enabling the ribosome to proceed with the elongation phase of translation. Through the coordinated actions of the shine delgarno sequence, the start codon AUG, and the initiation factors, the prokaryotic cell efficiently orchestrates the intricate process of protein synthesis, laying the foundation for the production of proteins, Initiation is a highly regulated and complex stage that involves several key factors to ensure the accurate assembly of the translation machinery. One of the critical initiation factors is IF3, which plays a pivotal role in preventing the premature association of the large and small ribosomal subunits. This factor ensures that the small ribosomal subunit remains free to bind to the mRNA and the initiator tRNA without interference from the large subunit, thus setting the stage for the correct initiation of translation. Another essential factor in this process is IF2, which, in its GTP-bound form, is crucial for the proper positioning of the initiator tRNA. This initiator tRNA carries the first amino acid, methionine, and its correct binding to the start codon on the mRNA is vital for the fidelity of the translation process. The interaction between IF2 and the initiator tRNA ensures that the tRNA is accurately aligned with the start codon, thereby establishing the correct reading frame for the synthesis of the protein. Once the initiator tRNA is correctly positioned, the large ribosomal subunit can then associate with the small subunit to form the complete ribosome, which is essential for the progression of translation. The energy required for this assembly is provided by the hydrolysis of GTP bound to IF2, a reaction that releases IF2 and allows the ribosome to transition to the elongation phase of protein synthesis. During this phase, the ribosome moves along the mRNA, decoding the genetic information and facilitating the addition of amino acids to the growing polypeptide chain in a precise and orderly manner. This coordinated sequence of events underscores the importance of initiation factors, such as IF3 and IF2, in ensuring the accuracy and efficiency of protein synthesis in prokaryotes, ultimately enabling the cell to produce the proteins necessary for its growth and function. In eukaryotes, the process of initiation is intricately orchestrated and involves a series of well-coordinated steps. 
It begins with the assembly of a pre-initiation complex, where the small ribosomal subunit, along with several eukaryotic initiation factors, binds to the initiator tRNA, which is charged with methionine. This complex then interacts with the 5-cap of the mRNA, a distinctive nucleotide sequence that is appended to the 5-end of mRNA molecules during processing. The 5-cap serves as a critical recognition site, ensuring that the ribosome attaches to the correct end of the mRNA. Once bound to the 5-cap, the pre-initiation complex, powered by ATP hydrolysis, begin scanning the mRNA in the 5-dash to 3-dash direction. This scanning process continues until the complex encounters the start codon AUG. In eukaryotic cells, the start codon is typically embedded within a conserved nucleotide sequence known as the COSAC sequence, which plays a pivotal role in ensuring the ribosome correctly identifies the authentic start site for translation. The presence of the COSAC sequence significantly enhances the efficiency of translation initiation by providing additional context that helps the ribosome distinguish the start codon from other AUG codons that may be present in the mRNA. Upon recognition of the start codon, the complex undergoes a conformational change that facilitates the joining of the large ribosomal subunit. This step is accompanied by the release of initiation factors, a process that requires GTP hydrolysis. With the assembly of the complete ribosome, which consists of the small and large subunits, the initiation phase concludes, setting the stage for the elongation phase of protein synthesis. At this point, the ribosome is fully equipped to begin the sequential addition of amino acids, as dictated by the codon sequence of the mRNA, thus translating the genetic code into a functional protein. This entire sequence of events highlights the precision and complexity of the translational machinery in eukaryotic cells, ensuring that proteins are synthesized accurately and efficiently. The next phase is elongation. During the elongation phase of protein synthesis, amino acids are added one by one to the growing polypeptide chain. This process has several steps and involves key molecules. In both prokaryotes and eukaryotes, elongation starts with the ribosome positioned at the start codon, and the initiator tRNA is in the P site of the ribosome. The ribosome has three sites, the A site or aminoacyl site, the P site or peptidyl site, and the E site or exit site. The first step in elongation is the binding of a charged tRNA to the A site, a charged tRNA is a tRNA molecule attached to its specific amino acid. This binding process is helped by elongation factors. In prokaryotes, the elongation factor EFTU, in its GTP-bound form, brings the charged tRNA to the A site. If the anticodon of the tRNA matches the codon on the mRNA, the GTP is hydrolyzed. This means that GTP loses a phosphate group, turning into GDP and EFTU is released. This release allows the tRNA to fully enter the A site. This matching ensures that the correct amino acid is added to the growing polypeptide chain. This step is repeated for each amino acid added to the chain. The ribosome then moves along the mRNA, shifting the tRNA from the A site to the P site and then to the E site where it exits the ribosome. This process continues until the ribosome reaches a stop codon, signaling the end of protein synthesis. In eukaryotes, the elongation factor called EEF1A plays a crucial role in protein synthesis. It brings the charged tRNA to the ribosome's A site. The P site holds the tRNA with the growing polypeptide chain. The E site is where the empty tRNA exits the ribosome. Once the correct tRNA is in place at the A site, the ribosome catalyzes the formation of a peptide bond. This bond forms between the amino acid in the P site and the amino acid in the A site. The elongation process continues as the ribosome moves along the mRNA, adding amino acids one by one to the growing polypeptide chain. This movement is called translocation. During translocation, 
the ribosome shifts by one codon along the mRNA. This shift moves the tRNA in the P site to the E site and the tRNA in the A site to the P site. A new tRNA with an anticodon matching the next codon on the mRNA then enters the A site. This cycle of binding peptide bond formation and translocation repeats until the ribosome encounters a stop codon. The stop codon signals the end of translation, and the newly synthesized protein is released. The elongation phase of protein synthesis is a highly regulated and dynamic process. It involves the precise coordination of several molecular players including ribosomes, tRNAs, elongation factors, and mRNA. Finally, we have the termination phase. Termination is the final stage of translation, where the ribosome reaches a stop codon on the mRNA. There are three stop codons, UAAUAG and UGA. These stop codons do not code for any amino acids but signal the ribosome to stop protein synthesis. When a stop codon enters the A site, release factors bind to the ribosome. In prokaryotes, the release factors RF1 and RF2 recognize the stop codons, while in eukaryotes, the release factor ERF1 performs this function. These release factors promote the hydrolysis of the bond between the polypeptide chain and the tRNA in the P site, releasing the newly synthesized protein or polypeptide chain. Following the release of the polypeptide chain, the ribosome, mRNA, and tRNA dissociate and are recycled within the cell. The newly formed polypeptide may undergo post-translational modifications. These include folding into its three-dimensional structure with the help of chaperone proteins. This protein is ready to perform its specific role within the organism's biological systems. This entire process, from initiation to termination, exemplifies the efficiency and precision of cellular machinery, ensuring that proteins are accurately and efficiently produced to sustain cellular function and respond to the ever-changing needs of the organism. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.